Hello everyone, this is Dilip. Today let's talk about digital signature and we'll do a hands-on with OpenSSL. So a digital signature is a combination of asymmetric encryption and hashing. So this is a simple diagram showing the digital signature flow. Say here is the sender and the sender wants to send a message to the receiver. Now, how to make sure the message goes out securely? In fact, what is more important is the integrity of the message. The message should not be changed in between and if it is changed, the receiver should be able to know. It is not important that the message should be hidden. So what the sender will do, he will use a hash algorithm and compute the hash value. Once you compute the hash value, he will encrypt that hash value using his private key. Ultimately, you will get a signed hash which is the which he will attach to the message and send to the receiver. Now on the receiver side, he will use this signed hash. And since the public key of the sender will be available publicly, he will use the sender's public key and able to decrypt this message and get the hash value. Now this hash he will compare with the he will use the message available with him from the sender and use the hash algorithm and compute the hash value again and compare the those two hash values. So this might sound a little bit confusing, but once you do a practical of this using OpenSSL, it will be much more clear. So these are how digital signatures work. Let's look at my terminal. I'm just creating a simple text file. We'll just put our trademark beginning line for my videos. Now we now have a text file and we know the content of it. Say if we want to share this with our friend. So first thing in order to do digital signature on this text file, what I need is asymmetric encryption and hashing. So for as do asymmetric encryption, I need a key. So let's generate that key using OpenSSL. So this is the command for generating a RSA key. I'm generating a RSA key of 2048 bits. So RSA is an asymmetric encryption algorithm. You use one key, private key for encryption, public key for decryption. So the pair is called, pair of keys is called, one key is called private key, other key is called public key. So let's generate the key. It has generated the key. Let's see, it's, so since we gave the name ds.key, it created with the same name. So let's see its contents. Okay, these are the contents. It starts with begin RSA private key. And then this is the content, this is the key. So if you take the length of this, it will be 2048 bits. And uh, it ends with end RSA private key. Okay. Now we now have the key. Now what we need is to get a 
certificate of the out of the tree so let's do this in a systematic manner where we derive the certificate from the key and give the certificate to the receiver now the receiver will use the certificate to extract public key from it okay so let's create the certificate Okay, let's put the certificate name as ds.pem. So I'm just giving the validity of certificate to be thousand days. Okay. So it asks for the country name. Let's give US state or province name. Let's give NY. City. City also, let's give NY. Organization lane. Let's put a DPTL, private limited, something. Organization unit name. Let's put sales, common name. Let's put a DPTL dot watch. Okay, let's just do a done email ID. That's it. So it has created a certificate for you. You might have seen the TLS certificate when you browse any website, there will be a lock icon. If you open it, it will display you the TLS certificate. And even the TLS certificate, you might see the same kind of details. So in a sense, a TLS certificate can be created in this manner. So let's see now what we have. We have the certificate as well. Let's just see its contents also. Starts with begin certificate and ends with end certificate. Okay. Now, Next step, what we'll do, we will generate hash for our text file. So the command to do it is this open SSL chart of six, like this. If here you would have given SHA-5 or MD5, OpenSL will work. So for our example, we have taken SHA-2-6 to be our hashing algorithm. So let's see. Okay. So it generated a 2 6 bit hash for me. Even that we can see open. So this is a 2 6 bit hash. Now, after generating the hash, next step is to encrypt this hash using our private key. So the command to do it is this one. So we are signing. So here I use the term encryption. But in real world terms, it's called signing. So both are the same thing. And you might, and next step you will see, I will be decrypting. And in real world, it is called a verification. So as a digital signature signing, we do the encryption. And digital signature verification, we do decryption. So my input is the hash, the computed hash from here. And my input key is the private key. So I am encrypting using the private key. And output I am putting in dot C. And don't worry about this end terms. So here I have put dot hash and here I have put dot C. This is just for our uh, 
what do you say just for our understanding but you need not put this uh, dot uh, extensions you can even if you leave it nothing will happen so let's run this command okay so now it has signed my hash and generated one signet let's see the contents of this as well okay so it is since it is encrypted we cannot read it let's move on to the next step now let's see what we have till here now we have the private key so private key uh, we leave it aside because private key will stay with the sender and the hash also will stay with the sender okay let's put the hash with the sender right no no hash we can transmit because this is like we are giving away the hash but still it doesn't matter because anyway once the message reaches the uh, receiver he will compute the hash also he will get the same hash so transmitting the hash is not an issue but we should not transfer our private key because they can change the contents and regenerate the hash and uh, regenerate our signature so let's keep our private key with ourselves let's transmit the hash let's transmit the our say signed and let's transmit our text and the certificate as well okay just assume we have transmitted all this now from this how the sender will verify the integrity of mytext.txt so how he can be made sure that mytext.txt did not change in between so what he will do once he, he receives the message he has the our certificate so from the certificate he will extract our public key so let's extract public key from the certificate so this is a command for getting the public key so let's get it okay so we got the public key now this we can use for verification or in hashing terms or for decryption so here is a public key this public key we can use for decryption okay let's use it this is a command for getting the hash value from the signature so here you can see we are inputting the public key let's run this command okay now let's see the contents in the folder so we have one the extracted hash now let's compare these two so we'll use a diff command the diff command doesn't result in any output this means diff command is successful and we are successful in successfully verifying the signed document so thanks everyone for watching the video uh, what are the commands you have seen i will paste them in the description as well so that you can also try it out in your system any linux box you can try out these commands this will work perfectly fine thanks for watching the video bye